Now I'm gonna show you guys so you can make this Y210 Frutiger Metro Error style effect. I think it is absolutely crazy. This is inspired by Noah Lund's style. He worked on the Lancy Faux Black and Tan music video. And I also wanna shout out 11% tutorials for putting me onto this type of style. So make sure you guys go follow him. He's linked in the description below. Now starting off, we have this simple layer of Yachty. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead, click on it and duplicate it. Clicking on the top layer, we're then gonna go ahead and rotoscope him out from the background. I'm sure you guys know how to rotoscope by now, but if you don't, I recommend watching one of my tutorials on how to do that. Now, before we hop into this video, the pre-order for Fast Effects is now available, and I've given you guys a crazy deal. If you add Fast Effects to your cart, you can add two other editing packs to your cart that are under $40, and you'll get those two editing packs for completely free. So if I add Fast Effects to my cart and then decide to add Opium Looks and CRT Textures, I'll get CRT Textures and Opium Looks for completely free at checkout. You guys don't want to miss out on this deal as it's not lasting forever. Go down below and pre-order Fast Effects today. Once you guys have Yachty Rotoscope from the background, it'll look something like this. The background will be completely removed, as you guys can see here and we can get started on the elements to make it pop like we did in this version here. So to get started, what we want to do is go over to our web browser. We're going to go ahead and search for the Google Metro Arrow, and we're going to see what we can find here. You guys are going to find a bunch of textures and a bunch of different styles of this one style here. So if we click on this one, we could scroll down here and you guys can see there are a ton of different effects that we could take and use from this. So let's say we want to go ahead and use this one. I'm going to go ahead and save the image as. I'm going to go ahead and drop it inside of After Effects now and put it below Yachty in the background here. Linked in the description below, I'm going to have these speakers that you guys can download for completely free. I recommend you guys drag and drop them inside of here because that's what we're going to be using to create this really viral speaker effect. So I'm going to put one up there in the top right. And then to change the color of them, we're going to drag and drop HLS color balance on them. And then we're going to go ahead and find the hue until it matches like an orange color. Or we could even do like a completely different color like this blue here. But I'm going to go for the orange look. So we have these speakers here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate them now. And we're going to bring them up here. Pressing R on our keyboard, we could then rotate them. And then pressing S, we could then scale them. And then I'm going to press Control D again. And then put a completely different set of speakers down here in this corner. So now I'm going to highlight all of these by holding shift and we're going to drag them below Yachty here. And you guys can see we have our speakers set up. Now to get them to move, what we want to do is drop down this tab right here, open up transform, go to the very beginning and we're going to keyframe scale. And right now it's at 67. So I'm going to move over two frames and bring it to like 73. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight these keyframes, copy them, move two frames over, paste, press command C. And we're just going to continue to copy these keyframes here until the very end, going every two frames. We'll have a look like this. Now it's a little bit too fast for you. You guys can do it every other couple of frames. So let's say we want to do it like every four frames like this. We can then paste them every four frames like I had before. You guys will get a look just like that. It's totally up to you on what kind of look you guys want to go with. So I went with this one here and we're going to do that to all the speakers that we have inside of here. Now that we got these speakers inside of here, I'm going to go ahead to the background here and we're going to animate that as well. We're going to go over, open up transform, go to scale and we'll start it at 120 and we'll go to the very end and we'll bring that down to 100 here. That looks fire there guys. Now to add a little bit more sauce to this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag in this item we have right here. And basically what we're going to do with this is we're going to make it grow in the background. I think it's going to add a lot of style to it. So we're going to put it just below the background here, turn everything else off except this. And I'm going to go ahead and resize it to go to about here. And then we're going to drag HLS color on this as well. And we're going to drag this until it gets to like a nice little orange color. I think that's pretty close something like that. And then what we could do is go over to its blending mode and we're going to mess around the blending modes until we get something that eliminates the white. So we got this right here and we'll put it there. Maybe scale it down a little bit there. I think that looks super fire there, guys. Now, what we're going to do to animate this, which I think is super important, is we're going to go over to our pen tool over here and we're going to zoom way out and we're going to make this like weird kind of like box. If that makes any sense like this. And now we're going to open up our masks, go to mask one and we're going to keyframe the masks path. We're going to go back to our regular tool, go to the very end and then we're going to have the mask path. We're going to have it start with nothing on the screen. And then let's say about here we have this come in. So you guys will see we get that growing in but it's like very harsh lines right now we could fix that by going on the mask and playing with like the mask feather here so if i turn that like way up you guys see those lines like practically disappear we just have like that growing just to add a little bit more depth and then if we go ahead and turn all these back on not super noticeable but it looks super super fire so to tie everything together now guys we have this super fire plug and if you guys haven't seen the video on it it's completely free we're gonna go ahead and create a new adjustment layer now make sure we have it selected to the top and we're gonna go ahead here and search ntsc drag this onto our adjustment layer you guys can see instantly we get a super fire old looking vhs look on our footage if we just go in here and look at the texture compared to off and on 
get lots of style added. We're gonna go ahead now and turn up the composite prefaces to two, and we're gonna get a super stylized look there. If you guys wanna take a little bit more time, you can have these speakers match to the actual beat as well, which I recommend you guys do. And then to put you guys onto the very last tip that I did to make Yachty look really cool, we're gonna go ahead and add noise on the Yachty. So just go ahead and throw on normal noise. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw on threshold here. So you guys can see, boom, Yachty looks crazy with the threshold on him, but if we turn up the noise here, we can get it a little bit more textured. And guys, that is just such a crazy look. Shout out to 11% for putting me onto the style. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want to go pre-order Fast Effects right now, you can get two editing packs for completely free with your pre-order. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.